Nowadays, when you pull up to a side-by-side -side and folks aren't used to the sophistication that they're seeing, they say the same thing to us. Man, that thing looks like a little pickup truck. And when you pull up in the 2020 Can-Am Defender Limited, you're about as close to that statement as you can get. I mean, truly, this is a fully featured rec utility side-by-side, -side, and like the limited branding in the auto industry, this limited badge sure does come with some serious bells and whistles. And at its core, you can spec the Limited in a two- or four-door version. Both of them come with the HD10 976cc 82-horse engine, and you can get it in camo or gray. Now, that's pretty much the only options that you have when it comes to Limited because it's so, well, limited. The cab comes equipped with full glass all the way around. Now, typically cabs like this will have some kind of a hinge, tilt, side window, or a manual slider, but on the Limited, you get power driver and passenger windows from the factory. The front windshield has a hinged flip with hydraulic lifting struts and also a built-in wiper with washer as well. So the interior of this Limited is fully loaded, and yeah, it does feel a whole lot more automotive than it does off-road. But as for me, well, I for one am totally okay with that. With the number of places around North America that will allow you to use a side-by-side -side on the shoulder of the roads and traverse through towns, you can literally use this as transportation. Albeit this Limited is more of a do-all ranch, farm, or rec property side-by-side, -side, but use it how you will, where you will, and it'll deliver comfort, sophistication, and not just incredible capabilities, but also loads of fun when you want to leave work behind and go out and play. Now I'll talk about the capabilities in just a minute, but I wanted to touch on one more comfort feature because the Limited has an extra special feature that you may not expect. And that feature is climate control. No, not just a fan that blows air, a complete mini automotive heat and air conditioning system run by a digital climate control means that you can set your temp and the Limited will maintain your desired temp inside the cab. If it's 90 degrees outside, it'll be arctic fresh inside. And likewise, in the frigid winter months, you can keep the cold out with the same system pumping out warm Caribbean heat as you traverse the landscape or plow the snow. It's a very functional setup for those who are looking for the ultimate in luxury, and it also allows you to enjoy the Defender with a wider range of passengers who may be more affected by the cold of winter or the heat of summer. Now, I'm not totally sure who the target buyer of this ultra-premium side-by-side is, but with all of the hard-working features that are built into it, I'm pretty sure it's going to do anything that anyone would ask of it. A factory 4,500-pound winch is mounted up front, along with the XT heavy-duty bumper, full HMWPE or high molecular weight polyethylene skid plates are already installed. It has the front arched A-arms for extra ground clearance, and the rear torsional trailing arms are also arched. The HD10 engine is a powerhouse with torque on its mind, creating a whopping 69 pound-feet of it and sending it through the ProTorque transmission. This transmission allows the Defender Limited to pull up to 2,500 pounds towing and haul 1,200 pounds of payload. It comes standard with electronic belt protection that will warn you when you're getting too aggressive or when you need to shift into a lower gear. Obviously at this level we have DPS power steering and it works really well considering that you're linking it to 27 inch Bighorn 2.0 tires and 14 inch aluminum rims. The Limited definitely feels a lot heavier than the base HD10 Defender and you got to imagine that the cab with all that glass, 4,500 pound winch and bumpers and the added weight of the HVAC unit does increase the weight and actually it increases it by almost 500 pounds. That's over the base HD8 and that's almost 35% more mass that you're carrying around. Keep in mind, much of that weight is up in the cab and you do notice a slight bit more of body roll. But it's to be expected and it's not uncomfortable or unnerving. And to be honest, this isn't the Defender to buy if you're looking to go power slide every corner, drive through the mud, or drive it like a Maverick. At just over 25 grand US or north of $30,000 Canadian, I think the suspension department could use a bit of an upgrade. And keep in mind, BRP is the company who's got air ride technology from both snowmobiles and ATVs. And it's my opinion that this would be the perfect spot to add in an adjustable suspension package or at minimum include a more premium, manually adjustable reservoir shock 
as the added weight is certainly putting the stock steel body twin tube shocks through their paces and pushing them past without too much added speed on the trail or when carrying a payload at an increased rate of speed. Also at this price point, it would be nice to have something more premium and rebuildable. But I guess it truly depends on what you're looking for. This is a top shelf, fully loaded side by side, and it's going to attract a certain type of buyer looking for all season climate comfort with all the bells and whistles from the factory in a one-stop shop. And I'm gonna venture a guess that price, eh, it isn't gonna be a big concern for that buyer. And if you're the type of buyer for this vehicle, I gotta say, besides the few little suspension complaints that I have, this is going to keep you incredibly happy. The 2020 Defender Limited has truck-like features with off-road capabilities that a pickup truck could never stand up to. If you enjoyed this segment, make sure you hit that like button and definitely consider leaving us some comments. We always appreciate hearing from our fans. Also, make sure you're subscribed because we have tons of new content coming up right here on Dirt Tracks.